When it comes down to it, the 2024 Infiniti QX50 is an adequate luxury compact SUV. It has a stylish appearance, reasonable versatility, and performs well on the road. However, a recent retest revealed that the QX50 remains near the bottom of Motor Trend's luxury compact SUV rankings. This entry-level crossover suffers from the same mediocrity as the 2019 model we reviewed for a year in our long-term fleet. We couldn't recommend the QX50 over its competitors then, and we still can. It's not that the QX50 is particularly bad, but rather that every similarly sized and priced SUV is better. The same story continues. Infiniti introduced this generation of the QX50 in 2019 with sleek, sophisticated styling that has aged well. The main highlight is its engine, featuring Infiniti and parent company Nissan's patented VC turbo system. This system aims to enhance power and fuel efficiency by adjusting the compression ratio based on driving conditions. In the 2024 Infiniti QX50, the VC Turbo is applied to a turbocharged 2.0-liter I-4 engine, producing 268 horsepower and 280 lbft of torque, paired with a CVT automatic transmission. It comes with standard front-wheel drive, with all-wheel drive available on higher trims like our loaded autograph tester. We recorded a 6.9 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time with the QX50, which is slightly slower than what we observed with various 2019 models. Similarly, those older models completed the quarter mile slightly quicker than the newer QX50's 15.4 second, 91.6 mph run. These 2019 QX50 times are more in line with other I-4 powered SUVs in the segment, which are generally a few tenths of a second quicker. For instance, the BMW X3 xDrive 30i did the 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in 6.4 seconds, and the Lincoln Corsair in 6.6 .6 seconds. What the numbers don't convey is how the VC turbo powertrain actually feels. The variable compression ratios and variable gear ratios combine to deliver power in a surging, uneven manner. This isn't very noticeable if you're gentle on the throttle and keep the tachometer below about 3000 RPM. However, the QX50 only feels quick when you step on it, and only after the powertrain adjusts through its varying parameters to eventually provide the desired acceleration. It's evident why no other automaker uses an engine like this. Despite Infiniti's claims about the VC Turbo, it doesn't seem to significantly improve fuel economy. The QX50 AWD is EPA rated at a modest 22-28 MPG city slash highway. Hybrid SUVs are much more efficient, not to mention electric vehicles. Similar to its acceleration, the 2024 Infiniti QX50 60 to 0 miles per hour stopping performance is merely acceptable for the segment. Its 127-foot stopping distance is longer compared to its 2019 results and new arrivals. For instance, an Acura RDX needed 123 feet, a Genesis GV70 122 feet, and the BMW X3 just 109 feet. While numbers don't show how the braking feels, the QX50's brake pedal is light and progressive, allowing for smooth, gradual stops with minimal effort. A figure 8 lap time of 27.1 seconds at 0.63 g, average, and skid pad grip of 0.81 g, average, are comparable to those of the Lexus NX, Acura RDX, and Cadillac XT4. The handling leans more towards ease rather than engagement. The relaxed steering allows you to simply point the QX50 in the desired direction but offers little connection between your hands and the front tires. Infinity could have tuned the suspension to be plusher and more absorbent to enhance the QX50's laid-back character. While the ride is comfortable, it does transmit some road impacts abruptly. Other vehicles in the class provide better body isolation. Stylish inside but behind the times, the QX50's interior has always stood out, though not always for the best reasons. On the positive side, it's visually appealing, with prominent trim panels and interesting contrast stitching that curves across the dashboard. The materials feel premium but not opulent, lacking the tight tolerance construction seen in some luxury SUVs. Notably, there's little reduction in quality between the front and second row seats. Our 2024 QX50 Autograph test vehicle featured a stunning tritone interior with brown, blue, and off-white leather. However, just like our 2019 long-term model, 
The silvery wood trim panels showed a slight but noticeable color mismatch between the dashboard and the doors. When it comes to tech and infotainment, the 2024 Infiniti QX50's dual display user interface seemed outdated in 2019 and remains so today. The screens are small by current standards, and neither is particularly responsive or visually impressive. The pixel resolution is low, and the backup camera quality is even lower. The system's complexity is another drawback, as it can be controlled by touching the screens, pressing buttons next to the screens, using the steering wheel controls, or operating a rotary dial on the center console. In contrast, rival automakers' infotainment systems succeed with simplicity, in need of redeeming factors. Infinity has equipped the QX50 with numerous driver assist and active safety features, some of which help ease highway driving. The Lane Keeping Assist does a good job of centering the vehicle between the lines but requires vigorous steering wheel shakes to confirm that your hands are on the wheel, unlike the light touch or capacitive sensors used by rival SUVs. As a result, you might find it just as practical to steer the vehicle yourself rather than rely on the system. Not much has changed. The QX50 has remained largely unchanged over its production run, and so has our opinion. Despite the aforementioned shortcomings, we wouldn't label the QX50 as a bad SUV. None of these quirks are severe enough to undermine Infinity's effort completely. The QX50 meets enough criteria to be considered among luxury compact SUVs. However, problems arise when you compare it to other luxury compact SUVs. If the 2024 Infiniti QX50 offered significantly lower pricing, it might be more appealing, but it doesn't. Starting at $42,350 for the base model and reaching about $62,000 for our well-equipped autograph trim, it competes directly with options from Japan, Korea, Germany, and the US. While the QX50's test results are similar to its rivals, other vehicles in this segment are more convincing as legitimate luxury crossovers. This distinction comes down to factors like better materials, more impressive technology, a higher degree of driving refinement, and more. 2024 Infiniti QX50, a luxurious cruiser with a few hiccups. The 2024 Infiniti QX50 is a compelling option for drivers seeking a comfortable and stylish SUV in the luxury segment. It boasts a handsome exterior design, a spacious and well-appointed interior, and a powerful engine option. However, there are a few shortcomings that prevent it from being a class leader. Upsides Plush interior The QX50's cabin is a highlight, offering ample space for passengers and cargo. The seats are comfortable, and the materials used feel rich and premium. Strong engine Available while the base engine is adequate, the available turbocharged option delivers impressive power and passing acceleration. Smooth ride The QX50 prioritizes comfort over sporty handling, providing a relaxed and enjoyable driving experience on most roads. Downsides CVT Transmission The continuously variable automatic transmission CVT, can be noisy during acceleration, detracting from the overall refinement. SOSO Fuel Economy The QX50's fuel efficiency isn't the best in its class, especially with the more powerful engine. Unexciting handling Don't expect a sporty driving experience. The QX50 is better suited for cruising than carving corners. Overall, the 2024 Infiniti QX50 is a solid choice for luxury SUV shoppers who prioritize comfort, space, and a stylish design. Good luck!